Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the devotional for today, September 28th, the year 2024. Coming to you from Church of the Palms in Florida, Sarasota, Florida. Our scripture today is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 to 7. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. The words we hear here in verse 5, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. It's not easy to follow in any part of our lives. But there have been many people who live this commandment. As I prepared for today's devotional, one person who spent his entire life living out this commandment came to my mind. A person I have never met but heard about and admire so much. It was in May of 2000. In five, when I traveled with my husband and a team of former missionaries and some of the world mission staff of the Presbyterian Church USA. We went to Osaka, Japan to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Yodagawa Christian Hospital. Our church has started that hospital. It was a medical missionary, Dr. Frank Brown. Yes, same sounding last name, Brown, but not related to my husband's family. Dr. Frank Brown went to Osaka after World War II and started treating wounded soldiers. Some native people came to help him. They built a small hut first and a small house and treated many people as they could. The need was greater than they could accommodate. Dr. Brown's love for God with all his heart, with all his soul, and with all his might continued to be in action of helping wounded soldiers and other people in need of medical care. In 1955, the women of the Presbyterian Church USA sent money and built a hospital, which still stands now and is much, much bigger. The hospital was named Yodagawa Christian Hospital. Founding philosophy of the hospital was whole person healing of the Yodagawa Christian Hospital is a medical ministry in Christ's love, serving the patients as serving the patients as a total unity of body, mind, and spirit. In 1957, Dr. Brown realized that there need to be a person who organized and dealt with money. So a missionary, um, Oscar Marvin, joined the team at the hospital as the first administrator. Later, I came to meet and know Oscar at Harvey Brown Memorial Presbyterian Church in Louisville, Kentucky. The same year, in 1957, Yodagawa Christian Hospital performed Japan's first blood blood transfusion for RH incompatibility. In 1962, the hospital hired Japan's first medical social worker. In 1973, the hospital became the first in Japan to offer a systematic palliative care service. In 1975, the 16th Siamese twins in the world were separated successfully at the Yodagawa Christian Hospital. In 1984, it opened Japan's first hospice care unit. Nursing care and elder care was added in 1998. 
From the beginning of its existence, Yodagawa Christian Hospital begins each day with a prayer in the chapel. Now, Yodagawa Christian Hospital is five times bigger and it has been a teaching hospital. It is a place of care and healing for many of God's children, not only from Japan, but from all around the world. All of this got started by one man, Dr. Frank Brown, who loved God with all his heart, with all his soul, and with all his might. God still calls us to love him with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our might. The good question is, how do we practice this love we have for God? Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving God, thank you for loving us all the time. Teach us how to love you back with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our might. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.